Welcome to Danielle's Desk. Today we are back in my B6 um, book journal by Creating & Co. Um, I featured this on my channel, um, I believe, sometime in November. So I will have as many videos as I can linked below if you've missed any of those. Um, just to give you a quick little recap, um, like I said, this is from Creating & Co. All of the charms that you see here are also from Creating & Co., including the um, planner cover as well. So what we're going to be doing is, is setting up for the springtime. If you've watched my last video, I did a setup with a whole Valentine's theme over here. I've already uh, taken that out. And so, um, yeah, and then we're going to do like a quick flip through because... The last time that I showed this, not much was filled out. I mean, it's still not a lot filled out, but I'm doing a little at a time each month. So I'm super proud of myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out the bl uh, planner cover. So we can move this off to the side and we'll get back to this a little bit later. So as you can see, this is a basic size, which... I love I love this size it's so compact and cute and as you can see it's on disc and not rings or anything um, you can find pretty much everything at creating and co except the disc I got these off the happy planner I didn't want black disc and I believe that's what she sells in her shop is the black disc and they're plastic I prefer metal disc um, and color I love color so if you can see these are just the rainbow color and I believe that I got these at Michael's this cover is from Creating & Co. This is exclusive to her shop. She carries two different covers. This is the one that I picked and we're actually gonna be changing this out today. Um, from the last time I've added stickers and deco here um, because I always do in my book planners. Um, I have a ton of bookish type stickers and of course where I'm gonna use them in my book planners. So my bookshelves I haven't touched yet um, and I'm thinking that I'll probably maybe get to this this week. I'm going to add it to my half letter so I can remind myself to do it. And so it's just going to be like writing the names of the books. You can use it several ways. How I might use it is just to write down all of the books that I've read thus far. You could also use this to write down all the books that you have on your TBR or in your collection. That can include Kindle, hard books, audio books. So you can use this in a number, different, a number of different ways. But how I've used it in the past in other journals or other book planners is just to write them as I read them. And so I'm thinking that's how I'm going to do it. I don't want to haul or not haul, but write like everything in my collection. It will be way too overwhelming for you. So uh, you get a couple, uh, several pages of those. Um, and so here is another sheet that I have not yet filled out. And that's my 2022 goal progress. So I've set my... Goodreads goal or my book goal or books read goal at 150, the same amount that I had for 2021. And so ideally what you can do is you can write it in and then like color. I think that I am just going to color it, that this will be just a coloring sheet since I'm using these pages here as books that writing books that I've actually read in 2022. So I think this is just going to be like a fun coloring sheet for me. Battle of the Books, I typically do this in the fall and or winter time. I think it's the fall. And typically I do a um, thriller horror, horror Battle of the Books. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So this page will continue continuously be blank because I will not do these until probably October. So here is a coloring sheet. This is the uh, pixel. This is the number of books. You can do it by genre, which is how I'm going to do it. I have not touched this at all. This is a coloring sheet here. And I did do this one. So this is favorite books. So these are going to be my five star reads for 2022. And as I read five stars, I will log them here. So, so far, I've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven so far, which is really good. And we're not even what we're two months, two full months in. So I've had, I've read some really good books uh, so far in 2022. And then you get a second page here. 
this is the bucket list and I did fill this out and as you can see some of the red which I hate that because that means that all of it is going to bleed through I hate that so much but anyway so what this is is books that have like either been on my TBR a while or I really do want to get to in 2022 and I actually like this because this will keep at the forefront of my mind that, hey, I, I really want to read these books. I want to get to them. So when I do fill out my monthly TBR, I can reference this sheet and say, let me include one of these books in here or two of these books in here. I also filled out the 2022 top 10 to be read. So these are my most anticipated. Well, these are my most anticipated. These are the ones that I definitely want to read. All of them are new releases. I did this on purpose because my top uh, 10 are anticipated are all new releases, obviously, and I wanted to list them all, not just top 10. So I kind of overflow to this one, which this one isn't all of them either, but it is the ones that I really want to read. And so far, I've only read Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover, but if you want to take a screenshot of this, this is what I am anticipating to read. I cannot wait. There are probably yeah they're all some of my favorite authors that are coming out with books this year and so I am really really happy hopefully they will be on book of the month because that's the cheaper route to go because you can <clears throat> you can get additional books on there for like $9.99 which is you know it's reasonable really reasonable it's another coloring page this um, is an, uh, a happy planners envelope that I just use kind of like as a divider going into my monthly section. Here is January. And so I did a snowflakes theme. Here is February. I kept it really simple. So I don't really use the monthlies in here. I just only decorate them. The boxes are so small in here that I have so much to write that I just choose to write like all of my um the anticipated new releases coming out for that month and all of that on in my other book planners and so i'm just using this decoratively i am not you know writing anything in there and then here is this month march i just did this one the other day which came out so nice um just very simple just very festive i love to keep uh i like to do like traditional holiday themed um in my monthlies so Anyway, so that's done. Of course, April or none, that's done. Here are the weeklies, and I'm just going to just quickly, um, some of these you've already seen in my other videos, but I just wanted to show you. This one is so cute. Uh, if you're looking for a planner, like tear off note page, these are from Creating & Co. I'm not sure if she still has these or these were a part of a sale. I'm not really sure I don't remember um this is this one is so cute this was our winter like planning party so that was really cute this one was from Cafecito um she did like a grab bag some months ago or something I can't remember I don't know if it was December or early January or January I think it's January anyway so I thought this was fun rainbow you know she has all of the fun colors so I thought that would be really cute this was for Valentine's Day week. I just love this kit. This was exclusive to a sale creating and co did. I hope that she returns this to the shop. This was our last readathon that we did last week, which was so much fun. I don't know why this readathon was so much different than any other readathon. I think it's because I hosted more um sprints this time than I normally do so I don't know I got a lot of reading done I had a lot of audiobook not a lot but I, most of them were audiobooks for this week I got a whole heck of a lot of reading done so it was just really really fun and then this is this week uh, if you're following me over on Instagram you probably saw this posted if you are not following me all those details are listed down below but this is a sub kit from creating and co her sub kits are open if you are interested this is a half kit this is what I normally get and it fits perfectly in here and it just says read past my bedtime and I just love the journaling card it has a little lamb on there which is so adorable so usually when there's a journaling card to go with it uh, for that week I'll use it like as a place marker so that is all for my weekly my next section is TBR and so it starts here I have my little little half sheets that I use when I write what I'm going to be reading. So this was my January TBR 
this was February and then this one is March, which I know is super small. And this is just what I have planned. Obviously, I could read more, but so far I've read um, Scythe, which was really good. I finished that on today. I gave it five stars and I also went ahead and got the next two, but I'm, I think I'm going to start Dark Matter next. Since it's not like super duper long, I want to go ahead and get Dark Matter out the way and then I will continue probably on with the series since they are library books. And if you can tell, I just kind of keep with the theme of what I have going on in my monthly. I just think it's really fun. Here is my reading wrap up. Um, this one is for January. I mentioned before I wasn't too thrilled on how this came out in it. I think it's because of how I colored things because I have a shaky hand. So I colored all outside the line. So I really didn't like it too much. Another thing is I didn't label my pie charts, which I didn't like. This time I opted not to color anything, but just do the ratings. And then I labeled what my pie chart is. So I had a really good month in February. So yeah, and I've already put down the deco for um, March. So it's just really cute. Then we have book releases. And so this is January. These are all the books that came out in January. And then we have here in February, usually the beginning of the year is a really good year for book releases. And then we have March, which we have some really, really good ones. A couple of them, uh, or is it one of them? This one I got from um, Book of the Month. And was it the book of cold cases I got? I think I got that one as well from book of the month as well. So I'm ready to go on two of them. So these are library books. I haven't really kept up with the dates borrowed, <laughs> but this is where I am. And I think I'm really missing some to be honest with you, but it, it doesn't matter. This, I have this placed here because we are going to be um, putting these inserts in here today. This is the newest inserts that I got. It's Books Bought. So I want to track the books that I have purchased from Amazon or maybe books that I've gotten at garage sales or that people have given me. So this is going to go in this section, like right in between these. Here are my challenges. This was the 2021 reading uh, winter challenge, which flowed over into this month. I did everything except one. So I did not get to the group read, which I don't even remember what it was. This was bundle of books readathon here. That was really fun. I did that one at the beginning of the year. I read four books um, with this one. This was an this is an ongoing creating and co-reading challenge. So it's for the whole year for 2022. And so far I'm doing really good with completing some of the prompts. And um, yeah, we're doing really good with that. And just FYI, I read books and then find, you know, go back and then look to see which prompts work well. Like I, it's not the other way around. This one is into the book verse. So I've ordered another sheet that's gonna go with this. Um, it's a blank one because we get badges like for other readathons that we participate in and this one is just strictly for the um seasonal challenges so i've ordered another one that's probably going to go like right in between here that's going to be blank where i can add a badge to it so this is the level up um challenge and so so far i'm doing really well it's sort of like a whole pac-man theme which is really cute and so I am doing well. This one I probably will do, I don't know if I'm gonna do it late spring or in summer. I might do it in summer, I don't know. But this one was exclusive to our like book miss box that we got. And there's a whole kit to go with it and everything. So I'm really not sure when I'm gonna do this. I mean, the prompts aren't like, I mean, like look at the prompts, they're very generic. I just gotta figure out when I wanna do it. And so this one is the, 2021 pop sugar which i am i thought i had a paper clip in this one i guess it must have came off somewhere but um i had this paper clipped where you know you couldn't oh i paper clipped the wrong one that's why i was like i thought i had this paper clipped so um if you hadn't heard my story or watched my um other video i accidentally bought the wrong one so that's why it's in there and this is the correct pop sugar this is for this year and i haven't looked at any of the prompts which i know that i've already got done that when like i just haven't written in it yet so i still have that and then this is like the newest one that she came out with it's a genre textures which is so cute 
um so it's based off of genre and here are the little pixel thingies to go in there so really cute i haven't started that yet that's why this is kind of like well no this is i skipped it because these are two pages well anyway this is the last one like i said we did the make waves and so um that was my whole tbr and prompts but i did like i said i did really well um i read four books it was really good i enjoy that so much so that is it and then in the back i just have my little envelope that i keep my you know stuff in here so i'm gonna take that out so um i'm trying to think what i want to do first let's go ahead and input everything in here first um that way we have that done and then we'll start like with the decorative stuff so let's get this out um i guess i can just go ahead and just put all of them in here if it starts getting like really thick and stuff i'll end up taking it out you know that type of thing so anyway so as you can see i've used avery um labels for these and uh, this is how they look they came in a pack they were super cheap they were like three or four bucks or something and so i'm going to take out my pen and i am going to write in um books bought on here and then stick it on here so i'm gonna write it on here so i'm going to write like kind of small let's see books I love these little labels. They're easy to write on. They're just super convenient. There's probably some kind of better way, <laughs> but it just works for me. You know, like it just really works for me. So I'm gonna put that about right there. There we go. All right, great. So we can place all of these. And like I said, I may end up taking some out and the same thing with like library books and stuff like that like I have a lot in here it's getting kind of thick but I like it when my planners like have like some sort of thickness to it or whatever I don't know it makes it full I'm weird I know all right so we got that in there I'll probably go back to January to see what books that I bought you know that type of thing so like you can see it is it is getting rather thick so the first thing I want to do is change out the cover on here. I've been having this cover since November when I got the planner. And so um, it is time to change it out. I'm still going to keep all of that in there because I'm going to go back. Um, I believe that she is going to be coming out with more covers, but I just don't know when. But when she does, I will get them because I love covers. So the one that I got, like I said, she had two options. This is the other option that she has in the shop. It says magic on every page. And so we're going to change it up since I've been looking at that one for a while. And I like some type of change. <laughs> so this is how it looks in the back. So we're going to place this on there. Let me know down below if you're using this planner. And definitely find me over on Instagram and share with me. I'm always curious to see how other people are using theirs and how they're decorating theirs, you know, that type of thing. But just a nice little change. I love it. I love uh, this. The floating books are just her signature style. So it is. All right. So let's go back into our soft cover. This is a vegan leather cover. It has those same floating books. Um, I did add a pin loop to this, as you can see right there. Those come from Amazon if you're interested. Should have kind of wiped this down a little bit. <clears throat> so we're going to pop this back in here. So it's going to be right there. And then I want to take, this is stuff that I just had in the back. So I want to take that because I don't want to lose it. So we'll put that there. And so... Um, let's before we do let's decorate i love to decorate the inside covers so i have my name scripts these are from alicia, uh, alicia michelle xo and i want to add them in here or add one in here i'm sorry 
there's no like official name page or anything in her planners however i just like to have my name written in it you know i just i just like that i have a couple of bookish type things well really not bookish type things so remember i showed you the challenge back here that i told you that i wasn't getting to possibly until the summertime uh where is it at is it before this yeah, this one. So she came out, like I said, with an exclusive kit, and she also came out with some deco, uh, some uh, die cuts. I think they're die cuts. Yeah, they're just paper. So I'm gonna have to glue them, which is is no problem at all. I had to glue the other ones, but um, I want to use some of these. They're so adorable, so cute. Um, just something like really different. I don't know. That may be too big, but. It is just too cute like I love this so much she has a little mirror it's supposed to be like a once upon a time type thing so I think that I'm gonna use this like I said they're not like stickers or anything so I'll have to take some glue let me get a pencil board and let's glue them on here these are not available in the shop like I told you it was exclusive to that um, that box so <clears throat> you're not gonna be able to get them or anything but I just thought this was so cute and like a little bathtub I use some of them in my um, Bible study uh, binder because I just thought they were just so cute and I've actually gotten like compliments on them. And if I tell them where it came from, they won't understand. So I'll just tell them it's sold out, which is true. I'm not lying. It is sold out. So let's get this here. Let's see what I have left. These are pretty big, so I'm not like gonna really be able to use. I'll be able to use that one, maybe. Yeah use this one I'll save these other ones for something else All right. it just says dream dust which is so cute all right so they're just kind of you know I don't know, put something on it. I don't know. All right, so we got that done. So we'll close that up and we'll start on the side pockets here. So um, I'm, I have spring in mind, obviously. And I kind of want to decorate for like the month a little bit, sort of like I did for February. So I pulled out this Simply Gilded card. I got this journaling card when I ordered her St. Patrick's Day washi, which is here have it already out because uh, I'm going to be using it for a couple of spreads it is so pretty as the stardust so I thought and it was so cute like it fits like perfect in here and then like I said the whole St. Patty's Day theme and then I started looking through all of my journaling cards and I came across this old one I don't know if it was from last year or 2020 I think it may have been from 2020 but it adventure awaits. Again, this is from Creating Co. We did. We had a whole kit and everything. I don't know if it was for a readathon or a challenge. I can't remember. But I thought this just paired so well with this. We just have like the little dragon peeking out, which is so cute. And then of course I knew that I probably had a bookmarker, and I do. Um, so it must have been for like a challenge or something. Um, so I thought that I would put that in there. So cute. And then um, if you saw in my last setup, I've been using these um, checkout library cards, which are so cute. I got it from Amazon. Um, I can have it linked below for you, but I've been using this as deco, which has been so cute. And so we're going to put that there. And then last time I just had a planner clip here, but I have this card and this is from Sterling Inc. from when I purchased something from her a long time ago. And so periodically I have used this for deco. So we're gonna do the exact same thing today. Um, and I just thought maybe just a green clip 
would work out really really well so those are or this is my side pocket so just very green good transition bookish transition over into spring <laughs> so uh the last thing is a pen, and so to keep with the whole theme as you can see this pair so well i don't receive the simply gilded boxes and i'm not sure if she still does pins or not but i have a ton of these and so i always use them they are really good pins to write in to, write with too so we're going to add this to our um pencil or pin loop so that's there and so yeah that is setting up uh, my book journal for um, at least for March. I'm not going to say for the entire spring because I may end up changing things up a bit, but I love the way that it comes out. So thank you so much for joining me here at Daniel's Desk. If you enjoyed um, doing a quick flip through and setting up um, the Creating and Co book journal for spring, please give the video a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from me, consider subscribing and I hope that you have a good day. Bye. Mm -hmm.